the next interview and perhaps the best of all of them is Lem Dobbs. Mm. Uh, this is the screenwriter of Limey and Dark City. Uh, he, it is, I think, the longest interview, correct? Yeah. And it, he really goes all out on it. Uh, mm. He is very loquacious and he speaks on his whole filmic history as a watcher and as a screenwriter. And you get into some of the, of the aspects of his films. I think the Limey, by the way, is one of the best films of the last 25 years. Mm. Uh, it has, it's Soderbergh's best, best film that I've seen by far. And it has one of the best performances too. Mm. I've, I think I've ever seen by Terrence Stamp. Yeah. Um, it, it's a shame that it's underrated. Dark city is similarly underrated, but it, it has a cult following at least. Mm. The Limey is the superior film and it deals with memory in a different way. All of Lem Dobbs, work is is based on memory and you get into that but he's also very fun in how he he goes about this interview and well, it is like a a, a novella sized interview i mentioned uh george dickerson sort of performance art interview um lem dobbs is in a similar kind of vein with that and just like with desmond morris lem dobbs only did the interview because i had sent him links to uh to prior interviews so he wanted to be a part of this interview series um he's someone that as far as i know he done he, he's done some videos uh audio interviews here and there but never did a written interview at least not not anything of this depth uh, he and so he did that because of that so yeah it, it's it's something that uh he, he goes off on these sort of uh uh tangents uh these sort of uh like uh, what? What's Joyce James Joyce? The automatic writing, stream of consciousness, stream of consciousness automatic writing kind of thing. And then uh, 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 an interview that sh that should be pointed out is the John Grabowska interview, the documentarian. Yes. That's another one that I gave five stars. Uh, and he just he's just very blunt and very. He's probably the the person in the arts talking about films and documentaries that he he's he's not giving any bullshit. He is also, I mean, there's no one in fictional films that is really up to standard with the greats of the past. Some have either lapsed, like Woody Allen or Martin Scorsese, or are dead, like Orson Welles and Stanley Kubrick. Terrence Malick is another one, but his, his films have gone to hell recently. John Grabowski probably is, in America, the best filmmaker still living and working, uh, even as a short uh, documentary maker. His films are like uh, Lauren Isley distilled, on there, he takes the influence from Lauren Isley, uh, and I think that out of all these interviews, in terms of the filmic ones, this is the interview that people will come back to and say, "Ah, that's where he was discovered," because you, he has uh, films that are completely different. And you can you did a recent video interview that we'll get to perhaps later about NPR and PBS, and you spoke about the Burns Brothers and how standard their formula of documentary making is. Mm. John Grabowska annihilates either of them at any point in their career in just 20 minutes or so that he has for a documentary. They're very distilled. And Crown of the Continent, by the way, which is the first film of his that I've seen, is one of the best films of this century. Mm. It is an absolute masterpiece of film. It has so many different layers, and it's such a concise fashion. I would, I would say the one, the one thing I would disagree with. I think the film that uh, Rick Burns, not Ken Burns, but that Rick Burns did about Moby Dick and the Downing of the Essex is the best of the Burns Brothers films. And it, even though it does hew to the Burns Brothers style, it is one of those, it, it is one of those works that is sort of like stopping by woods on a snowy evening to Robert Frost or Ozymandias to Shelley, uh, in that both of those people did uniformly good quality poetry, but that's that's a work that's aside and apart. And I would put, I think it's called Into the Deep, uh, I would put that Rick Burns documentary, uh, uh, even though it's longer and it used the Burns Brothers style, uh, uh, what's his name, Grabowska doesn't have anything that long. So I don't know if Grabowska could sustain a film for two hours or two and a half hours, it might be even that documentary. Uh, uh, so to a certain extent, I would agree that Grabowska, uh, he's gotten the half hour poetic documentary. And I, I think he said that there are some 45, 50 minute versions of those films that he has cuts of. 
Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah, I want to see him do something longer and more condensed in that fashion. But I, even though I would agree, because I have seen into the deep as well as well as other Burns documentaries, I would agree you may be able to rank it above anything Grabowski has done. But if you take any similar length moment in into the deep and compare it to Crown of the Continent, I believe that yeah. Crown of the Continent is the superior film. It is it, there's there's really no fat. It has and it has so many different layers. There are, I certainly by length though, you would probably have to give Into the Deep the slight edge. 